Hello friends, welcome back. So they, uh, so uh, in short, if the object cache is installed on your server and there is a plugin installed to interact with that object cache, then uh, WordPress use a uh, WordPress store the transient data into the object cache, not into the database, because object cache is installed and there is a plugin to interact with that um, object cache. Uh, okay. So in the next video, we will uh, learn about object cache as well. But this is the way, like the if object cache is enabled, then transient data won't be stored into the database. Currently, it's not installed in my local setup. So uh, it will uh, create this timeout and option name. So when we do a set transient, it will create a it will save two options into the options table. One is the transient with the transient name and have our data and another option for saving a timeout and it will stay it will save uh, the timestamp. OK, where the, when this uh, transient will be expired based on the expired time we have provided into the set transient function. Okay, and then if it, it will simply check whether the get option is uh, exist, and it, if it's not, then it will just add the option. Else, it will update that option. Okay, and and then it will return the uh, results. Okay, and if the result is there, then it will call, they will call this set transient and set a transient uh, actions, and these actions we can use if it's if we need to do something to or to perform something. Okay and this way it will return the uh, data and similarly into the get uh, transient it will simply provide a pre-transient uh, so uh, using this filter you can re uh, return the like uh, whatever transient data you want to return like it's a uh, like uh, uh, filtering the data before uh, or instead of going to the database okay um, but I know I don't have any use cases right now where we can use this uh, pre-transient underscore the dynamic transient name uh, filter. Okay, but if it's not, then and again it will check whether object cache is uh, installed and if WordPress is using it, then it will get the transient data from the object cache and, and not from the database. And if it's not, then it will take it get it from the uh, uh, database using the get option. And if whatever the value is passed, then transient underscore the transient name this filter will be executed if and it will allow us to filter the transient data okay so uh, let me just uh, go here okay so now we have set it so let me just go here and uncomment this one and i'm also adding uh, here uh, that uh, here i will simply add echo uh, transient data saved okay and in the else condition i will say transient data uh, like uh, fetched from transient data okay so it will just like easy uh, just to know whether it's uh, uh, like which code have been executed okay and now i have i have used a template redirect so i will simply go here in, uh, go to the front end and simply load the page now it says transient data saved because the, initially the transient data would not exist so um it saved okay and return the array uh array of movies ids and if i re refresh it now it says fast from the transient data because previously one first time function call transient data set next time same function call it will fetch from the transient data okay so uh, in the database how it looks like so in the database into the options table uh, you can go to the options name and uh, let me just copy this initial uh, data here and perform the like query uh, so here you can see uh, the transient options okay so this is our main transient data and wordpress uses underscore transient underscore prefix and then what are the transient name we have provided and in the in the in uh, serialized format it will save our data okay and uh, also there is another options with the same transient name but it includes transient underscore timeout and it has a timestamp value like when uh, our this op uh, this transient data will be expired okay so uh, this way wordpress stored uh, the transient data into the options table okay yeah, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Jai WordPress.